The Vatican has invited religious leaders and medical professionals to discuss the future of medicine. Organizers say dialogue is the first step. We want to gather them and to, um, let's say, create a hotspot, not only for discussion, but also for a mutual action. Because to solve important problems today, uh, you need multiple stakeholders to get together. This is the fourth time the Vatican is hosting this conference. This year's theme is how science, technology, and 21st century medicine will impact culture and society. That's a long title. For several famous Americans, they're taking part. Including Dr. Mehmet Oz, host of the Dr. Oz Show and professor of surgery at New York Presbyterian Hospital and Columbia University. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much. It's a very special day for me to be here in the Vatican. We don't usually associate you with the Vatican, yet there you are, standing inside Vatican City. How did you get involved in this conference? Well, I have some very good friends uh, who have put this program together, Dr. Smith and Gomez and others have gotten medicine and organized religion talking and more fruitfully. And of course, when the Holy Father says that the Vatican is willing to host an event that allows <laughs> scientists and folks who are of faith to speak to each other very openly, and that's what we've been doing so far today, uh, it does get people thinking much more deeply about what it's all about. And you don't say no, really. <laughs> this morning you moderated a panel on the culture of life and religious influence on health with a priest, a rabbi, and a Mormon elder. The panel was examining the role of faith in patient care, patient recovery. How does one's faith have an impact on the healing process? Well, I should point out the panelists were also all doctors. So you have leaders of their faiths who are also physicians, so they, or, or doctors, I should say, and they understand each other quite well for that reason. But it's very core. They all said that when you're ill, you don't want to be defined by your illness. And religion allows you to go beyond that. In fact, it, it pushes you to realize that you may not always understand everything, and it's okay. And that you can forgive that reality. And by dispersing with a lot of the baggage that you carry through an illness, it frees you to be the person that you can be. And by giving you the emotional support that we know benefits patients, but all of us, even when we're not ill, you seem to get improved results. Why is it important, in your view, for members of the medical community to dialogue with the faith leaders, and especially in this case, the Catholic Church? You know, when we ask patients, do they want to talk to their doctors about faith, they generally say no. But if you ask patients, do they want to talk about faith, period, they say yes, which means there's a gap. The average American, the average person who gets ill and goes to a hospital around the world feels uncomfortable messing with that covenant, that sacred relationship they have with their doctor, yet they actually want more guidance. And doctors, it turns out, sort of want to talk about it because they realize it's part of getting their patients better, so we need to bridge that gap. And if we can do that in a meaningful way and not introduce guilt into the process, which is what the big fear is and has been in the past, then you can get success. The Catholic Church has been very uh, much in the forefront of wanting to break down these barriers, to get us to realize that healing is not the same thing as finding meaning. And you want to do both in your life. Isn't that true? Well, I know you're headed back to New York this weekend for the Emmys. Best of luck to you, Dr. Mehmet Oz, host of The Dr. Oz Show.